Hey everyone, welcome back. Another rconfig v6 core video and um, following on from our setup and installation video last time. If you haven't uh, reviewed it, go ahead and check it out on our YouTube channel. So this video, we're just going to do a quick follow up on how to update rconfig v6 core. See, because we're going to do lots of pushes and if you know people collaborate with us on v6 core, um, you're going to want to keep your code base up to date and you know if there's any new features or any bug fixes or anything like that so very simply um we have it documented it's a pretty simple process and we're just going to go through it real quick here now right now i've got the same setup as the v6 core installation video i've got a linode setup a standard rocky 9.2 uh, os v6 core is already installed on it and uh, let's just prove that as i said it's pretty much a follow-on from the previous video yep so v6 there's a rocky 9.2 there's our ip address all that stuff um that's fine um so what we're going to do right at the end of the main setup document is our updating steps i can click on it here yeah i'll bring it right down to it and there's just a few commands to run so let me bring up the CLI session. Let me just do a quick side by side here on the screen. Hopefully that looks okay for you guys on the video. And now I could just copy and paste the whole thing in and not for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to paste it in one line at a time and explain what we're doing. So getting into the correct repository, we've already done a git clone. Now I'm going to quick side note for any network engineers or architects uh, watching the video. If you're not familiar with git, go do a couple of videos. You, it's just part of the whole, uh, you know, developing yourself as, a, as an automation engineer, as a network engineer, network architect, like you need to know Git. And um, so I'm just going to assume you do know. And um, so we've already done a Git clone uh, during the setup and installation. So now we're just simply going to do a Git pull. And what that does is it goes up to the repository, says, is there any changes? If there is, bring them down to me. So Git pull, and we can see a couple of changes, okay. Um, I did update the readme um, for, since the last video, and there's a couple of asset uh, changes as well in the app.js and mix.manifest.json. Don't worry about what these files are, but they are really important nonetheless. Once the git pull is done and we've got our code updated, we will run a PHP artisan migrate, and what that does is it checks to see if there's any database changes required at a structural level, new tables, uh, adjustments to tables or anything like that. Um, the question, are you sure you want to run this command? You can use your arrow keys on your on your keyboard, change it to yes and say, and hit enter. In this case, there's nothing to migrate. More often than not, that'll be the case. There will be nothing to migrate. Do the step anyway, just in case, all right? Sync tasks. Uh, that's part of the task monitoring uh, in our config. Composer install, if there's any dependency additions uh, or updates. Okay, and that'll just take a moment. Restart the web server. I'll take a moment and then do a clear all. Probably one of the most important commands in our config, actually, I often say this to customers and users, uh, it, it's, it's an application flush type process. It just clears out cache and different things and kind of clears out the queues and, and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of gives you a blank slate to work from. So look, that's it done. That's the update actually done, right? Let me just go back to the UI. Let me go full screen here. I like to do a control shift and R to refresh the UI. And the, the, if I just do CTRL plus shift plus R, uh, what does it do? Oh, um as a keyboard shortcut used to perform a hard reload of a web page okay in chrome edge whatever and i do that all the time when i'm doing updates it's it's second nature at this point so Control shift and r and we can see the dashboard is loaded up just perfectly there again so our code base is right up to date so again any bugs any issues that you're aware of just like it's a two second thing if i just demonstrate this once more i can copy the entire oops copy the entire snippet of code let me just clear this screen and paste it in it just gets done are you sure you want to run this command yes 
now we can see there was nothing to update either there was no new code came down from github and there's nothing wrong with doing all of the rest of the steps anytime all right and then if i go back to my ui and i do a control and sh control shift and r back to my dashboard control shift and r log out log back in perfect that's exactly what you see okay so very quick video very short update on how to update uh, v6 core from github okay thanks guys